my life. This is my passion. This is Ike's Outdoors. Hey guys, Ike here from Ike'sOutdoors.com. I'm out here today on a late season boat hunt and I'm in the same stand that I filmed the two does um, last weekend. Um, they were bedding down in here <clears throat> and uh, when I came in they were bedded down in the same spot. I was hoping to slip up on them, but didn't work out. I uh, got heavy traffic coming off of Greenfield over here. Bedding areas, just they can bed anywhere behind me. Walnut Grove over here to my west. I, I'm sorry, to my south. Got kind of turned around there. Um, and a, an old logging road comes back in here, four wheeler trail or something. That leads to a greenfield in the back. So I'm hoping that uh, I can get something coming out of that bedding area up here or these walnut grows and hitting this trail going to that bedding area uh, it's about 50 degrees right now but by the time dark gets here it'll be about 30 so it's you know late it's early december and um getting to that area where it's you're gonna sweat going in and you're gonna freeze your butt off when you're going out so it's hard to make sure you got the right amount of clothes so um I dress appropriately coming in very little on and and just unfortunately had to carry a lot of extra clothing with me um to compensate you know prepare for that cold cold weather at the end of this hunt so um, I didn't bring the mount for my tree arm I got my tree arm put up and realized I didn't have the mount on my bottom of my camera so I'm gonna have to do a majority of the filming today with my place board one of those does that I scared off earlier came back she came right back on the trail that she went out on and um, she's up there on the hillside right now, bedded down in a bunch of thicket and a, a bunch of underbrush. And uh, I don't know if she's gonna come out of here or not. I'm hoping that there may be a buck, because the other one didn't come come back. I'm hoping that maybe a buck will come in either after her or after that other one. This one's a mature doe, and the other one is her fawn from this year. So that other fawn may be in heat. You know, they tend to come in a little later when they're young like that. So I'm hoping that maybe they stumbled on a buck when they were coming out of here and got separated. And that he uh, is chasing her around and she'll come back this direction. If not, if that doe comes over here about dark, whenever she gets up, I may take a shot at her. So I've got a doe tag in my bag and uh, a little more meat in the freezer would be nice. That's my last doe tag too. I got one more doe tag with the muscle loader, but if I can take her out with a bow, that'd be that'd be better. going on for about an hour now and uh, god dang it I had her five yards and I cut shot her I hit her high and left right below the spine and I cut shot her I can't even see my arrow but I know 
I know I made a bad shot. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I hate wounding an animal. I hate not giving it a good, clean kill. It just tears me up, man. The young deer, young doe, that I've seen in here before. And um, she just gave me a good shot. And uh, I got a, a one more bow tag, doe tag with a bow. But, damn it, I had her five yards. I don't know what I did. Just too easy a shot and I didn't settle or if my arm was tired and I jerked or what. But it all happened so fast I didn't even realize I was hitting a trigger and it just, man, you know how it is. It just went off. I just, I just did it. And uh, I don't see the arrow down there anywhere. But it's about, it's, it's about 20 minutes after four. I'm going to um, go ahead and give it till dark and sit right here. And then I'm going to get down and I'm not even going to go look for her till in the morning. She's got shot and she went off into those tall weeds over there. So I'm hoping that she'll go over there in those tall weeds and she'll lay down and she'll die. And in the morning I can come back out here and find her. It's about 30 degrees so my biggest fear would be coyotes. It's coyotes get to her. Um, before I do, <laughs> but I'm I'm 99% sure that I gut shot her. You call me heartless all you want to, but that just tears me up doing that to an animal. <sighs> yeah, it's about 10 p.m. I went back out to try to find my doe, and I found some big puddles of blood. I hit her left. I hit her not just square in the gut i hit her I, her liver as well i hope the back side of the lung but it doesn't look that way looks like i've got liver and um, gut and you know i got to thinking about that the more and more i thought about it a few days ago i think it was maybe even last weekend i noticed the site housing on my bow was loose and i just it's got a toolless adjustment i just reached down and adjust and tighten it up um, I didn't think much of it at the time, but it must have moved off to the left. I'm gonna shoot my bow tomorrow and see for sure, but it must have moved. And I'm just kicking myself in the butt for not shooting it after that. I know better than to do that, you know. Um, the thing was loose pretty bad, and I, I should have tightened it up. I should have came home, I should have shot the thing, made sure it was still on, and adjusted it if I need to. And because I was lazy and because I didn't do that, now I shot this doe in the gut. But I went back out there and looked for about an hour. Like it's about 10 o'clock. I gave her about four hours and uh, went back out there and looked. Found some good sign, good blood. But she got out in that old yellow Johnson grass that's about chest high and I just lost her. Uh, so the best thing that I can do is I'm just gonna back out for now. I know she's dead in there somewhere, but there's about 40 acres of that yellow Johnson grass in there. Um, Tomorrow I'll go back out, try to pick up the blood trail again, and I'll look for carrion birds, you know, blue jays, uh, blackbirds, crows, whatever, vultures, ravens, um, all of them are pretty uh, pretty much uh, pretty good about leading you to an animal that's down uh, when you can't find it. So the good thing is I didn't hear, I didn't hear any coyotes out there. So the only thing I can do is go home and, and um, have a sleepless night and worry about this and, and uh, get back up in the morning and see if I can I can get out there and find it. Man, I just hate, I'm cussing my lazy self now. Just should have been a nice, quick, clean kill and I've screwed up and I gut shot her. So I, I just hope she's, I hope she's dead already and hope I can find her and harvest her. You know, first thing you guys need to know is I'm part of a hunting club. Um, our hunting club works by we own a bunch of different properties or we lease a bunch of different properties and you reserve your spot and I didn't have my this spot reserved today someone else did but I didn't know that uh, I didn't check last night I, my, when I did check no one had it and I didn't check this morning on my way out so I got out here about 830 and there was a truck parked on it and uh, there's a couple guys that had the spot reserved, so luckily they were off 
I went into where I shot my doe and no one was there, but there was some gear there. And uh, so I figured the guys had shot a deer and they were off looking for him. And it turns out that the guy who was in there, I ended up, uh, as I was searching for my doe, I ended up following a blood trail from my doe right to him. He was standing over the top of my doe. And I asked him, you know, I, I told him who I was and everything. I asked him what was going on. And he said that he'd shot the doe this morning. And the guy was using slick tricks, which are a pretty small broadhead and they're four blade. And I'm using blood runners, which are a two blade. And they're when they open up, they open up to a two inch cutting diameter. The deer had been eaten by coyotes a little bit. They'd eaten a little bit out of her back haunch. And they had, um, there was a big hole right through the gut, right where I shot her. Um, and I know that that was my deer. I know it was mine. I think what happened is I think he saw, I stuck my arrow in the ground last night. I think he saw my arrow in the ground and went over and investigated and ended up finding the blood trail and trailed it to my doe. So, um, law in Missouri, I don't know if it's the law or not, but I know the law in Oklahoma was the first person to put their tag on it. It's, that's, it's his deer, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. It, I made a bad shot, he got to her before I did, and he had his tag on her already. So, um, I just can take the, at least she's dead, you know, uh, and at least someone's gonna eat her. This guy said that he told me a, a fabricated story and I could tell he was lying and um, said it was the only deer he'd got this year. So at least it's going to someone who's going to eat it and uh, at least she's dead. She wasn't too far from where I stopped looking last night. So unfortunately I'm kind of pissed off that the guy would lie to me and if he would have just said, hey, I want the deer, I would have said, hey, go ahead and put your tag on it. You know, that's fine. But he felt the need to lie to me about it and say he'd shot her and all that. And I just don't believe it. I mean, the hole, you're only hearing my side of it, but the hole was too big for his slick tricks. The deer went from my arrow, where I put my arrow last night, I blood trailed right to her and he was on her. And he said he shot her early this morning. The coyotes had already been on her. You can look at, at, at meat and tell, you know, just like you put meat in the freezer, if you just put it in there, it's going to start getting kind of a, a darker color to it. The coyotes had been on her, they were on her late last night. I mean, the meat where they'd bit into her was not fresh. It was old. It was really old. So I know that was my deer. But what are you going to do? You know, I should have made a better shot. So, uh, but luckily, she's going to get eaten. She went to a guy who. You know, obviously wanted a deer and obviously he's gonna maybe needed the meat. I don't know, but uh, I don't need the meat. I've got four four deer in the freezer. It would be nice to have a fifth, but uh, I still got a doe tag in my pocket, I guess, and I've still got time to hunt. So, unfortunately, I didn't. I found my deer, but unfortunately, she's going home with somebody else. Kind of like the pretty girl at the dance. You spend all night getting her liquored up, and she ends up going home with someone else. So just kind of sucks but that's the way it goes sometimes so I appreciate you guys watching this video I know it's probably long but this has been a long long ordeal trying to find this doe and uh, I probably shouldn't be filming while I'm driving but I am anyway so hopefully no hypos see me but for more product reviews how-to videos and successful hunts you can check out our website Ike's Outdoors appreciate you guys sitting through this entire video